Hello all, I am going to share a video on some uh, diagnosing of trailer lights. Um, I ran into an issue with uh, my small trailer's lights recently when I was on the way to Menards. Um, drove there fine, hooked everything up fine, but I uh, ran into some issues on the way home and I'm going to share it with you. So you can see driving this 1994 Honda Horizon. Pretty cool little vehicle, JDM import. It is right-hand drive, turbo diesel, probably said that. I'm excited about it. But, had to switch out the hitch. Let me give you guys some light. Boom, boom, boom. Had to switch out the uh, trailer pin connection right there. Had this weird Japanese thing. I don't know if I've seen it. You guys probably have. Switched out with that bad boy was running into some issues turns out the most common issue i have found over the years is a grounding issue so you're going to want to find out what is not working first for me it was my tail lights my tail lights my running lights weren't working my brakes were good my uh my turn signals were good, but my taillights weren't working. Most likely going to have something like this. You're going to need to decode it. I believe this is your ground, but look it up online or check right here. Bottom pin ground. Then you got your tail marker, left turn, and your right turn. So what I'm going to say you do, what I did, you get yourself a multimeter. Plenty out there, and if not, clip a freaking Harbor Freight coupon. Get yourself one free or pretty darn cheap. You're gonna go to continuity, right? You want to see if there's continuity, and that all that setting is is when you get an electrical connection between the two leads. There, you get a beep. Now, some meters don't have this, and some meters don't have the beep. The ones without the beep will usually give you like a zero reading or something when you hit continuity or it'll and it'll just say open line when not or ol as you see there if you don't have that then i think you can use this ohm scale uh, if you know what you're looking for but we're going to switch to continuity next thing you're going to want to do you're going to want to go to your trailer for me I guess it doesn't really matter what bulb you're working on, but uh, I removed all the light bulbs from here. So then theoretically, it should be a complete open circuits all the way around. Remove your light bulbs, both sides, any light bulbs. You're gonna wanna put this in here. And you're gonna wanna check every, I would check every connection, so. You're gonna have an alligator clip or a friend or someone hold it. Now it's beeping because I have my bulbs in. But take your bulbs out, put your probe on the ground, and with your bulbs out, you shouldn't have any beeps on these on these leads. And then when you're gonna go, you're gonna go one by one and trace your wire. So you're gonna leave that completely open or completely on there. Excuse me, you're gonna leave that on there. Then you're gonna go around. And you're gonna look at these wires. They always do a shitty job running these wires. They run through washers, through pieces of the frame. They don't ever have any protection. Sometimes they do. They should really have a plastic jacket on there, but they don't. And you're gonna wiggle it. You're gonna listen for that continuity. You're gonna listen for that beep. You're gonna go all the way through, go through your pins, and that should help you find your problem. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope this helps.